Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International Nail Artist and Educator and today I'm so excited to show you this new technique of the 3D glass effect and you can have a look in here. Yes, that's a beautiful butterfly which we are going to paint and give it it and those extra glass look uh, which exchange the design so much. I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you do and you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're existing subscriber, hit the notification bell just to don't miss any future tutorials. Let's start! So something a little bit more advanced than normally uh, the last few maybe tutorials and we are going to do a 3d glass butterfly so I'm just going to paint the background in my favorite color as some of you already know 155 sweet side I really love this color So it is 155 one. I'm going to pop it into the lamp and in the meantime we can start doing the preparation and the preparation here is pretty important because we need to create like a glass, um, glass colors. So I'm picking up my clear fiber gel. It has a really nice um, thick consistency so it will be great for this technique and then I'm just going to use the soak of top gel so I'm going to put a couple of the dots of the gel polish top coat and now I'm going to put the colors in here so we are going to use yellow A drop of it. I don't need a lot. We are going to use the purple. We are going to use some neon pink. I really like this one. It's a rock, rock girl from Neonios. Absolutely amazing color. And then neon orange summer hero and maybe some green why not okay so this tip is ready for a second coat And then give it a cure. I actually quite like this color as well. <laughs> Having all palette of the different, this is a really nice color actually. And now I will just mix them to create like a transparent color. And so we've got really nice yellow here. Clean it. Green. Purple. Pink. And I just need to drop more top coat for this color. Perfect. So we have created like an um, transparent gels. And now we can start painting the butterfly. <clears throat> So 
So I'm going to use this color to paint my butterfly. So there is going to be some sparkle visible from underneath. So that's the body of the butterfly. And now I need to paint the wings. And the easiest way to do it is create one line here, one line there, and then two shorter lines. So this way you know where you've got the wings and they kind of lie in the same position. Color that in. So it is just our background for the butterfly. I think we've got the seagull in the garden, are we? Yes. <laughs> we've got the fish pond and I could see Patrick was just running to the window open it and try to scare the seagull. He was scared at all. Is he not? Oh no, he will eat my fish. Okay, I'm just going to paint in here and he's going to scare the seagull. <laughs> they have been really bad, like, you know, attacking the dog and... That's him gone now. Cool. <laughs> okay, so this is the background for our butterfly. And I wanted it to be sparkly. So the sparkle is going to show through and the glass look which we are going to create. It might be actually easier if I maybe paint this shape quickly because with the glitters it's not as visible. So you've got body of the butterfly, then you do lines, so this way you know where the shape is. Okay, so that's kind of shape of the butterfly we have painted. And then you can just do the antennas. Or you can make them like this. For the flying one. Actually, tell me what you think if I paint something like this on the piece of paper. If that's helpful, I can do that because it's not a problem for me. So this is just a background for my butterfly. And all the butterfly is going to be done now with these colors. So I'm painting the green body of the butterfly. And then fading that in with the yellow color. Okay, give it a flash cube. I'm also going to need a drop of the black gel. There will be lots of flash curing uh, because we're working with very um, watery gel polish. So this is just to indicate where the body is and the head. Ooh, 
going into the yellow again. Other wing. And then going into the orange. It's kind of like a doing an ombre wings. Stained glass effect. Then we are going to give it those 3D look into that. Give it a flash cure again. So the flash cure is just a couple seconds to freeze the product so it doesn't run. And now we are at the pink color. And then the purple, very little of the purple because it's quite strong color. And give it a flash cure. Now I'm going to, this part was done with the bigger brush and now I'm going to swap into much smaller brush so I can fade it in the detail and I can like improve the shape of it. So I'm in my purple And I'm kind of painting the, those waves. So they kind of strongly visible. There is going to be a lots of detail, like there is lots of detail in this design, but I think it's so beautiful. Pretty time consuming. And 
this wave in here. Got something there, oh no. We hear or something. That's it. Okay, and now I can go back into the pink. Just to improve some places. You don't need to do the sparkle on the background, which I did, but I just wanted this kind of shimmer through it. You could also um, see I didn't cure it uh, this part here and it's already bleed. So I'm just going quickly flash cure it. It's good to swap like when you're working on the client swap the hands apart. Now I'm going into my black. Nice and thin. There is almost no pressure on the brush when we're painting such a detail. I mix it my black with the green. Just so I can darken the body. And I'm going to give it a flash cure again. And after this, we can start building the structure, those kind of glass 3D look to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm dipping my brush in the uh, fiber gel clear. Uh, 
and I'm just distributing it over the wings. Just so we can build up the structure because uh, they needs to be pretty high. Give it a cure. And apply the top coat on the entire design just to protect the gel polish. And now we are going to build in those 3D effect. Again, there will be lots of flash curing. Okay, so first we're going with the body. I have swapped it into the smallest brush. And I'm doing a drop where the head is. So you can see that it's really raised. Flash cure it. Same on the body. Flash cure it. And the last part of the body. I think uh, showing you the side view. It's pretty useful. Flash cure it. And now we're going to do those beautiful wings. So I'm just adding a thin lines of a structure. Cure it. It is all about holding this gel like to be really in a good position. You can see it in the first wing. Another line. All the nice techniques are really time consuming, guys. Give it a cure. So basically what I'm doing is I picking up the blob of the product, leave as much as possible, and then make it thinner. I hope you can see it on the side view. We will also build it up a bit more. flash cure again flash cure <laughs> flash cure <laughs>
slash cure and because I've got this nice string uh, at the end like the gel goes really nice and thin there okay so after we have created this layers I'm just going to show you all that up we can build up even more It's really all about adding those height to it. And you can see those glitter like in some places is just showing through. Another one in here. So I'm kind of trying to go on the places which I already covered with the gel. Okay, now I'm going to give it a slightly longer cure. So the gel stop running because I could see some places was joining in too much together trying to speeding up too much and I think there are other um, nicer things you could do with that like a flowers or a dragon beard so absolutely fab now I'm not I'm going to do a slightly longer flash cures I don't want to ruin this butterfly because of herring up And obviously you're building it up as high as you wish. I'm almost done. <laughs> Okay, and then let's build the last uh, layers. So I want the body to be a little bit higher. Pop it into the lamp. I'm not going to give it a flash cure, will be a 10 seconds cure, like so it is not going to run because I want those last year layers to be really nice and sharp. Okay, so They're really changing a lot. Okay. 
So I'm not pressing hard, I'm kind of trying to lift this gel up. Just like, so it has this volume as much as possible. You can also go outside the tip, and I show you that here. So we are going to go outside the tip. Okay. This way it looks even more 3D. And yeah, we almost done actually. So that's my last beats. And then I show you the final look from every single angle. Because I think it's awesome. Very time consuming, but. And maybe on the client, we wouldn't build up as extreme as well. Like I think like on the display tips, we can kind of practice and do it. I'm actually curious how much time it took me because <laughs> I never count. Uh, but I enjoy painting and doing all my details and and also I'm just going to give it a final cure. Also I have done some things like this like and then I thought I wasn't sure if it's something worth to to show you guys so it's something you would be interested to see tutorial on. I quite like um, for clients those simple style of nails as well because um, not everyone will want like an over the top nails. And that's my glass butterfly cured. And yeah, I want to... Mm, cameraman, you need to help me to say it which way is best. Like, So I want to show you all the angles, guys, so you can see how nice and 3D look it has. Oh, here I think it's really visible. Now on the swings, this one, because they are sticking out so much from over the tip. Yeah, I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. Let me know what you think down in the comments uh, below. And that's this beautiful butterfly. Oh, that's better. There we are. That is awesome. Ah, it just shows what we have built up. I'm kind of like a little girl now watching the final results. I want to check this angle because I think that will look fat because it's pretty raised. Hey, you almost see through it. Gosh, worse than the child. I love this butterfly. Let me know what you think. Anyway, that's me done for now. Thank you for watching. Bye.